Okay, so we had a problem with our air conditioner. Um, the blower motor wasn't working properly. It would come on, we'd put it on max, it would blow full blast, and then a few seconds would go by and it would just slow down, stop, speed up, cut out. So we replaced the voltage regulator and uh, that didn't change anything. That was about 70 bucks for that part. Bummer. And then uh, we got a new uh, blower motor. So we're gonna show you guys how to replace that today, but we're just here at the very end showing you how glorious Ooh. this is. It works again. So good. Oh, that's, that's sexy air right there. <laughs> very cool, very hot, thank you. Very. This is our uh, COVID, Derek and Jana COVID date where my husband shows off his amazing skills and right. I get to assist him. It's an easy job, you can do it. Don't freak out, it's not that hard. Just get somebody to help you and you'll you'll be, uh, you'll be chill in no time. Good job. All right, so here we have a 2012 550i GT, um, we replaced, we replaced this guy here, some kind of regulator. I don't know exactly what you call it. Um, replaced it, it's on the bottom of the housing, which we're gonna get to, and no change. So the next step then, for, for me at least, is uh, to replace the fan. And we got a new one here, they're about 100, 120 bucks. And we're gonna, we're gonna install this today and I'm gonna show you how to do that easily. So these clips, they just pop out. You don't need to take them all the way off. It's easier if you don't. Might be enough. And then with those released, you should just be able to lift. And you're gonna need some help. So I've got my assistant here, my beautiful wife, holding the hood for me. And once those clips are released, you just pop it out, let it, let it, I got it. rest, I got this. and then I'm using a broom handle to hold it up. Give us, give us a little bit of clearance. Try not to break anything. So now the hood comes way up, and you've got the clearance you need. Next step is to pop these guys off. Three here. Got these just pop right out. Set them aside. Watch out for the wires here and the uh, windshield wiper hose. This guy here you're going to want to take off because we're going to need to get underneath it. It's just a lot easier if you just screw it out. This here I'm using, uh, this is a 5.8, it's not metric, but that's what I've got right here. To take off the, um, this cross brace or support. A little bit easier with the swivel here so you don't smack up your, uh, your hood. All right, and you do you do need to take this out of the way. At least on this model, I've seen some others on uh, online that that maybe um, you don't need to take this out. You can get a little bit of clearance in there, but since this whole box has to come out, you want you want all the room that you can get, and that's just the way to do it. So what we got in here is a huge box. There's a housing where the there's electronics in here, there's the blower motor, um, and then there's, uh, there's a cover, two covers. So you've got the, the housing with a, um, a screen on it to keep debris out, and then you've got this cover um, that has the electronics. There's a video on there where the guy touched something. I don't know, he caused a, an electrical problem for himself. Um, on some models, I think maybe you can do this without taking this cover off but um, to get this whole housing out you need to get underneath here and 
um, loosen the power uh, to it. So I'm gonna do that. I'll do that first. Set it aside, don't lose anything. And yeah, you don't wanna mess with any of these relays or fuses, don't bump anything. You wanna be as delicate with this thing as possible, obviously. But the one that we need to take off is this guy here. We need to loosen this because if this is holding on to it, you're you're going to um, you're going to have this thing stuck. And then this has this uh, rubber piece that holds it into place. Just tuck it off to the side. Um, I haven't di disconnected the battery. You probably should, but I like going to the auto parts store and learning new things. I don't recommend. I don't recommend doing this without disconnecting your battery, even though I'm not doing it. So that's my disclaimer. Let's see, we're gonna take off this cover first. So there's one, two, three, there are gonna be four torques. They're all T25. So the thing about these is they are uh, long and they are um, a little bit tight in there just because they're they're more like a more like a wood screw and once they're up all the way uh, you, you could drop it so I recommend leaving it in as much as possible just enough to get it uh, loose from the the housing so what I mean is don't unscrew them all the way if you if you can help it because that'll make it easier to go in and out this guy back here, this one here, is easier to reach from back here uh, on this side of the hood. So, just make sure it's not so loose that it'll fall. So you can see it's about a, it's about an inch out, which is enough to let it let it free from the housing. So they're. The four screws that are holding this guy, um, the cover on, they are, uh, th there's two here, one in the back, one here in the front, and then you'll have two more, which is that guy back there. And there's another one that's pretty much straight down right there. There's a, this one is the only one that holds this electrical cap on here with all of the fuses and relays. So you you disconnect it. This does not come out. Let it loose. Let it hang. This guy here will just move up and and there's not much you can do with it. This is where it's this is about it. And this is gonna be a pain until you get everything out of here. You're just gonna have to be delicate with it. Um, maybe you can use a zip tie or have somebody hold it while you're working at the rest of this. So people are replacing this. And if you have noise from uh, debris getting into your fan, if you're in the car and you hear a, it makes a lot of noise with your fan going. Um, the reason is, is because this thing here, which should be loose now, this thing has a screen on it that degrades over time. And then you just need to buy a new one of these. I don't know how, 35, 45, uh, BMW dealership, 105, I have no idea. Pretty expensive, but. Um, and before this thing will come free, you need to disconnect this. Uh, I think this is aux, this is an aux sniffer. I'm not sure. I've never s seen mine actually work, so I don't care. But anyway, disconnect it and then the whole thing comes out like that. And this is the, uh, the handy job we did. My, my hot wife with the hot glue gun did this. <laughs> no, no problem. There's one. This one is maybe better from the other side too. Yeah, reach this one from the other side. Putting up your hood. There are a lot of screws on this. 
Um, not all of them are holding this thing in place. A lot of them are holding the housing together. And so you're just gonna have to pay attention to where it's located. Also, you can kind of go by feel. Um, this thing has some give to it, so you can wiggle it around and see how you're doing. But be careful because there's a lot of uh, a lot of components on here that seem to be a little delicate, so you don't want to break anything. There are three that are holding the the whole housing here in place. Be careful of this arm. This is. Um, like an actuator that controls these flaps. Be careful not to grab this thing here by the flaps. And you're gonna have to disconnect a few clips. This one um, right here on the top just pulls out. There's one. I think the only other one is down underneath, which is the main power. But pulling this thing out, you wanna just take it easy, make sure you've got everything loose and make sure your screws are not uh, so far out that They'll come, they'll come out. And then the best way I think is to lift up and you need to twist it as it, as it, as it comes out. Pretty much just lift straight out. And then you have this, this connector here. And you pinch, pinch at the bottom. Pinch at the bottom of this thing here and pull, that's it. And now, you've got this. Now the electrical regulator is down here at the bottom, but we need to get inside here and put a new motor in. So that means disassembling this whole, this whole thing. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight T15 Torx screws that hold this whole thing together. Um, just take them all out and then this thing, um, I haven't disconnected anything, just gently lay this over. Next, this will just pop right off and then this comes away and the uh, you'll need to disconnect the plug around the back and for some reason this is kind of glued in on the bottom, but once you get it out, that's, that's your motor. And with the fan on it and yeah it's a bear I, don't, I hope this fixes it I don't know I don't know why it would work intermittently like that and we replace the electronics and the regulator of it but um, we're just we're just trying one thing at a time <laughs> and uh, here's here's the new motor so just go right back in. Like a glove. Like a glove. It has these little grooves that fit here with these uh, rubber pads for vibration, I'm sure. And one, two, three of them. So make sure the cord is kind of. Okay, so they slide in. There's one here, one here, and they fit just straight in. Make sure it's nice and snug. Run your power back in through here. And then reassemble. Get everything right back into place. I got a little ahead of myself. This, once you put this cover on, this flat piece, this one here, it just sets into place and then you have to put this on. So there's no screws really holding this down until you get the cap back on, or the top part, I should say. And, and then you should have four screws left. goes back into yeah. 
That's it. All right. That clips underneath here. Look at that. Yeah, right on, babe. <laughs> All right. Now it's ready to go back in. Nice. It's better if you have two hands. Step one is to plug in this power or you'll get to the end and realize you screwed up big time. So make sure it clicks and then you're just gonna gently get this thing back inside. Go that way, yeah. So it kinda has to go in diagonally. Here. Now, <laughs> where do I put this now? So you just kind of have to guide it in until it feels like it's home. So the orientation is just a little bit, a little bit left center and kind of sinks down into that area with that little filter thing back here this has to clip yeah you got to make sure that it um seats up to the there's a rubber gasket that feeds into the cabin and get your this thing first clip there so that was one two clips for power and now the reverse is just to um start screwing in those t25s so let's go ahead and do that. There were three holding in the whole housing. I'm gonna just do the reverse. One. Two. Three from back here. So putting this back in, just kind of nestle it down in close into place and get your ox sniffer plug back in place it should click you couldn't hear it it was up against my finger but it clicked and stud. should fit on nice and snug you can't wiggle it around and then just t25 again Tighten one, two, three, four. Right back on the top, it just slides right in and you've got one screw holding it in. Just, just to keep it down into place. Locked in. This whole thing. Slides back in, sits on top, 10 millimeter nut. Before you screw everything down in here, get everything seated and before you put on this cover and then make sure it starts. So check to make sure your fan is working. Hit max. Blows nice. Thank you. Don't forget these for the uh, windshield wiper or the windshield uh, washer. No, that's not the next step. Shit. Next step, put this guy back in. Cap back in. Just 
guy goes back on, watch your hose and your electrical. Fasten. And last but not least, get your struts back in. You wanna grab that, lock it in, snap back into place. Lock it in. Place. I think that's it. That looks good. Probably it. So this should probably give you about, I don't know, I haven't tested it. Little extra MPG, definitely more horsepower. It's gonna blow hard.